And I didn't know at first what I was writing. I knew I was writing this haunted neighborhood, but I was like, okay, I'm just going to kind of write from where I'm feeling right now. And I was about a third, about a quarter to a third of the way through when I'm like, oh, this is me dealing with my sexuality. I didn't realize that's what this entire book was going to be about. And at that point, it was too late for me to stop because if I would have realized that that was what I was doing, I've been like, oh, this book's going to get shelved because I don't want to have to deal with this at all. This is something I want to put over there. But because I'd already asked for the deadline extension, I couldn't back out. I had to keep going. So the only reason the book got written is because like I was already late on a deadline. So like it ultimately worked out. Like, you know, I ended up being like, okay, I can talk publicly about my sexuality. It's I'm not, nothing terrible is going to happen despite what I was told growing up. And so kind of going from there and like, you know, and it's a happy ending. Like I, I, I ended up winning the, I have my little Lambda right here. This is my little Lambda award for Reluctant Immortals for bisexual fiction. And so it was like very publicly, like I'm winning awards for, for not, for, for, for being queer. Right. So it was like, I love this. I'm actually turning a little red talking about this. I'm still like a little bashful about <laughs> Stoker Con last year, I led I led up like a bisexuality and horror panel. So you'd think I'd be used to talking about it now, but I still get a little like weirded out because it's like all of that uh, childhood trauma, right? All of those ghosts that haunt us, right? So yeah, so that was a big part of why this was so personal to me and having to finally deal with this in a very public way. And so it was like, okay, I guess I'm going to do this now. It was good for me. Like I said, I feel like it was a very cleansing experience of being able to embrace who I am and not be like hiding it anymore. It's been a it's been an adventure with this book. I remember saying like to my husband beforehand, you know, before it even came out, I'm like, this book has done so much for my personal life already and changed so much. Whatever happens with it once it comes out, like this has been like a big a big shift in, you know, how I approach things and even like both personally and professionally. So, yeah.